Hello there everybody, Zach here from Zach's Model Railways. Welcome to a brand new career mode series. It's a manager's career mode and it is managing Chelsea, but as Jose Mourinho. So I've set the tactics up to match Jose Mourinho's. The starting 11 is similar to Jose Mourinho's. So we have brought back all the old players from Chelsea from 14-15. So Hazard, Costa, Salah, Oscar, Fabregas, Matic, Luis, Terry, Cahill, Asbilicueta still here, Thibaut Courtois, Petr Cech. We've also got Fernando Torres, Didier Drogba, um, Sla Bernie Slaven, Hugo Slaven, Ivan, Branislav Ivanovic, sorry. And then we've also got Andre Schurler, Victor Moses, Willian still here. We've still got some Chelsea familiar faces from the current season, but they won't get started. We've also got Nathan Ake, Andreas Christensen. So he was just starting out at Chelsea, so he will stay. Nathan Ake was obviously a Chelsea player back then. So yeah, that is our Chelsea squad. I think Van Ginkel was in the team as well, but we'll have to see about him. Because I'm not certain he was. But yeah, um, so all the players have their accurate kit numbers from the season. Now, we do have a couple of worries with some of the... So, obviously, for the for some of the players, for some of the players, obviously, Felipe Luis, John Terry, and um, Petr Cech, Torres, Didier Drogba, and Ivanovic, I had to create them. I had to create them, obviously, because they're not in the... Because they're not in FIFA anymore. So, yeah. Um, here's what the score looks like right now. We've got Courtois. There's Petr Cech. We've got Felipe Luis. I don't think I did too bad of a job with all these players. And then we've also got Cahill. Now, John Terry, if you have a look at his status, he is retiring at the end of the season, which isn't good. Okay, so who are, is there anyone else retiring at the end of the season? I know it says that Felipe Luis and Petacek are English, but ignore that. So, yeah, who else? So, John Terry is retiring. Ivanovic isn't. Okay, let's have a look. Is anyone else retiring? So look, it says he was at the club 2013. Let's see. Is anyone else retiring? Matic? No, he's not. Tiamui Bakayoko. Gallagher. Danny Drinkwater. I didn't realize he was still at the club. But yeah, um, Cesc Fabregas. He's not retiring. That's good because he's quite a good player. Obviously, he's 32 though. Oscar, how's he doing? Oscar, now Oscar's quite a good player because he's only 27 and he's 84 rated, so he's going to be a key player. Victor Moses is back. He has that special something, that's nice. Um, Sherlock, so he's 28, still a, might be a key player every now and then. Eden Hazard, obviously a big man. Willian. Once again, he's 31, so that means his overall will start to go down, but we'll keep him. Mohamed Salah, obviously, was a Chelsea player. Now, I was also you wondering, where's Kevin De Bruyne? He wasn't playing back then. So we've got Fernando Torres, once again, don't think I did too bad of a job with him. And we have Didier Drogba, Diego Costa. The one problem with Drogba, he is also retiring at the end of the season. So Drogba and Terry are retiring. And for those of you who are wondering, have I done Jose Mourinho as a custom? Indeed I have. This is Jose Mourinho. Anyway, enough chit chat. I'm sure we should just get down into the match. So the way this will work, I'll literally do every match. Well, thank you all for joining us. We'll start taking questions now. I'll do a Jose Mourinho voice. The lads should be only focused on winning. I pick a side of winners, so this should be reflected on the results. Does the team have what it takes to win the league this season? With the players we have at this club, winning the league is what we should be aiming for every year. We are all looking forward to getting started. Will you buy some new players until the end of the transfer window? We've built a solid squad, we're good all over the pitch, and I have confidence that we will handle this season without any problems. Thank you, well, I will not take any more questions. So there you have it, our first press conference. I did the Jose Mourinho voice, you know, I am the special one. <laughs> so yeah, Chelsea v Man United for our first game. Let's try and win it. So as I say, I have set up the tactics to be just like Chelsea's. So team management wise, I say, yeah. 
You know what? I think we should start a check for the game. We'll pop Drogba up from. I know he's not the paciest player, but still we'll pop Drogba up from. Salah and... We'll take Hazard off. We'll pop Sherla in. Okay, pretty happy with that. Right, let's start them. So here's the starting 11 for our first game of the season. Czech, Luis, Terry, Cahill, Azbilicueta, Fabregas, Matic, Oscar, Scherler, Drogba and Salah. See, I'm quite looking forward to this, obviously starting a new season. Um, this is career most quite interesting. I think we'll just keep going until Mourinho gets sacked. Maybe that'll happen in season three. You never know. I'm not saying that I'll bot I'm not saying that I'm gonna purposely bottle it in season three, but still, yeah. I just thought this would be interesting because it's been it's been half a decade since Chelsea last won the title, so yeah. But being an Arsenal fan, I can't talk. Cause it's been like 16 years for us, so uh, you know, don't worry about it. But yeah, let's just get this underway. Our main feature today on EA TV: two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. This is Old Trafford, long-time home of Manchester United. Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. Premier League football right at the start of the brand new season for both these teams. Manchester United against Chelsea. Oh, so much hope for both clubs before a ball has been kicked. Nobody's made a mistake yet, and as a player, you just want to get off to a good start. Hopefully a winning one. Well, look at the room in which to attack. Slipped his man, cuts it back well. The shot gets blocked. That's a gift for them. It's an own goal. Well, it comes with the territory, doesn't it, when you're in that kind of position. And here is another angle on that goal. enough to be behind now but to do it with an own goal is particularly annoying for the team and the player in question plenty of space out wide and they're going to use it it's a very good clearance and it was needed Bruno Fernandes Edin Dzeko he's got some room out here in the wide position Surely. Into the attacking third. Mohamed Salah. Now they can swing into attack. And he's got some help. That's uh, straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Fernandez. Quadrado. Bruno Fernandez. Trying to widen the approach play here, but it's out for a throw-in. He's given it away. Now, can he take them on? He might be through. Rashford! You really fancied him to score, but the goalkeeper kept his beliefs and kept him out. Yeah, I mean, he'll be asking where his defenders were, but come at the hour. He stepped up there, didn't he, the keeper? Corner played in. Dangerous ball dealt with by the goalkeeper's punch. Now he could play it into the danger area. Fernandez, Shaw. That's a good tackle. Chance to work it from the flanks. All alone in the middle. It was a good connection, off target, and really from that position, it's a surprise. It is, yeah, and one or two of his teammates having a quiet word, trying to lift him. Mohamed Salah. The referee, Lau kick here in a scoring position there's no doubt about that 
Genuine attempt to go for the ball. Well, it is a foul, Martin. He didn't really seem to get his balance right there before making the challenge. Where it's a promising position. Hit it well! Back into play off the crossbar. This could bring them level. The referee went straight away, pointing to the spot. Penalty kick. Oh, was the contact? Did he dive? Love to see the replay. Is that just a case of mistiming the tackle? I think he's a little unlucky, slightly mistimed, and his man's made the most of it. The penalty, I think it was clear-cut, and the fact that the referee's not... Penalty put away! He's taken on the responsibility, and uh, a happy outcome for him. He just looked confident walking up to the ball here, Martin. The goalkeeper did, to be fair. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. There's no doubt that man. Excellent vision. The break is definitely on. He's tried to hit this one too hard, Alan, hasn't he? Oh, I think he shanked it, Martin. Miles off target in the end. Cahill. Turnover in play. Slipped his man easily. In goes the tackle, and it's a corner because of it. Well, let's just revisit the penalty. Well, listen to the noise here. These fans haven't had too much to cheer of late in this match, but this could be a moment for them. That's gone out of harm's way for a goal kick. Cahill. Oscar. On the attack here. He saved it. He saved it well. On the front foot now. They've got a corner. Hoping for the goal that would put them in the lead. Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. Not sure he's got as much time as he thought. Bruno Fernandes. Cuadrado. Referee has indicated. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Impressive in possession. Passing's good, possibly dangerous. Says Fabregas. Fabregas's pass is cut out. Well, it is half time now, and you can. Oh, it's a pretty. Oh, uh, God. John Terry's own goal, that definitely didn't help us. But yeah, um, an all right first half, obviously. Mohamed Salah scored a penalty, so not too bad overall. But um, definitely have to try a bit harder in the second half, I think. Sorry this episode's gone on a bit longer, but that's because obviously it was the introduction episode. They're always a bit longer, aren't they? I promise that the, the other ones will be about 20 minutes Chelsea as usual. Chelsea to start this second half, then. Hill, Oscar, Nemanja Matic, Oscar, oh they couldn't keep possession, they've given it away, with 45 minutes gone, Alan the first 45 minutes for this new club, how do you think he's done? Well let's face it, he hasn't played particularly well. It's been poor so far, and his team needs him in the second half. Free kick for Manchester United. And the home side will play again in the Premier League. This is their next fixture. You'll see it with us on EA Sports. That's Billy Cueta. Cesc Fabregas. Good interception. Alan, what about Chelsea's next game? They're playing Liverpool in the next match in the Super Cup, and I can't really see too much between the sides. I think it'll be close. Well, they put the bye into Bayern again with this transfer deal. Exciting deal, this, for the fans and for his teammates. Around £70 million. Money well spent, I think. Oscar. 
Mohamed Salah. Chelsea have the ball in the wide area. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. Great start by David De Gea. Look for all the world as if he would be beaten there. Corner played in. Gets in the way of it. The defender. A couple of teammates up in support. Went for the cross. The defender made the block. Cuadrado. Possession lost by Juan Cuadrado. With good vision. Surely. What an important interception that was. A chance to break away now on the counter. Well, we all fancy to win this match, United. Maybe it's proved harder than expected, but they're in charge here. Can they get a late winner? The crowd turning up the noise. They could have stopped it. But why? It's a good hit. Now the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Now the manager's been getting into them on that touchline. They seem a little lackadaisical out there. Certainly not as uh, creative. Just think it's time for a quick substitution. Cesc Fabregas is definitely getting tired out there. Uh, don't really have many midfielders on the bench, do we? No. I'll put Willian in. Yeah, he'll have to do. All right. As they normally are. Willian in defensive midfield. That could be interesting. Chelsea are now going to make a change. Cesc Fabregas. Mohamed Salah. Salah! The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Cesc Fabregas is the player who's giving way. Here's Willian. Got on one possession back with that tackle. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Bruno Fernandes. And in Jekyll. Trey. Excellent work with the tackle. Quadrado. Quadrado. Excellent defending at a critical moment. Now Williams. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Tremendous contest here, which Manchester United now believe at this late stage they can win. Well, it's a bold move, isn't it? One that could backfire on him. Extra striker for this team. Yeah, nothing ventured, nothing gained, and uh, the neutral in the crowd will applaud it if it does come off. That's United's free kick. What a good chance this is to... Jekko! And they managed to score here. Ruled out here, it was offside. Well, the lad took it well, but quite rightly the linesman flag goes up. Oh, that is the final whistle. And it's finished level here. Yikes. OK, not a brilliant, not a brilliant start to the season. 1-1 one, one with Chelsea. Mourinho's future team, if this was actually 2014. But yeah, let's just do the interview. Also, the morale is quite important to the team, but yeah, 1-1 one, one draw, not exactly how we were hoping to start out. Have you got time for a few questions? Is the draw on your debut at Chelsea a good enough result to please you? I expect the lads to be more focused in the next game. It's going to take the lads... Uh, for, it's going to take time for things to gel. Once you got the equaliser in the second half, did you expect to get a win in the end? Yes, I expected. Was Well, winning was the expectation today. I would have liked to see us push forward more after pulling level. The match against your rival ended in a draw. How did you find this match? Well, a draw is never a bad result in a match like that, but you know, we're never happy settling like that. Thank you, that's all the questions. Thank you, I would not take any more questions. So yeah, um, so the Super Cup in our next episode, which will air on, actually, I don't know if I'll do them daily, I'll just do them randomly, but yeah. 
So the next match will be the Super Cup. So look out for that. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Like the video. And um, yeah, why not hit the notification bell whilst you're at it? Keep calm, build model railways.